Hi everyone, uh, this video goes through the steps uh, you can take using TAN to get the uh, distance of that opposite line shown there, that right angle triangle, uh, provided you have, or you know the angles, or one of the angles for the right angle triangle. So here we're going to go through the steps now, coming up. Um, so you will need your scientific calculator here again. So here's the formula, um, as alluded to. Um, it's adjacent multiplied by the tan of the angle, and um, e that will equal the opposite line length uh, when you use that formula on your calculator. So in this example, we're going to uh, pick an adjacent distance of four. This is adjacent to the angle, uh, and we'll pick the angle as being 30 degrees. So here, um, we, we've animated the, um, the, the uh, approach uh, using your scientific calculator. So hit four multiplied by uh, 10 and enter 30 and um, when you do that if you hint, uh, hit the equal sign on your calculator your answer should be 2.309 for the line that's opposite the known or given angle and um, so that's the tan relationship between the opposite and adjacent line to give an angle uh, to discover the length of the opposite line um, if you now um, clear the screen on your calculator and enter that opposite distance of 2.309 divided by 4, you will come up with an answer of 0.577. So that's telling you that the opposite line is, uh, is 0.577 times smaller than the adjacent line. And if you want to clear the screen of your calculator again, and just type in cos 30 degrees as shown there, you'll get the same answer, 0.577. Okay, hope that's of use.